Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Chelly, and I'd like to welcome you to my Thanksgiving dinner preparation video 2018. Now all this is, it's going to be clips of me preparing all of the different dishes that I cooked for Thanksgiving. Now this is one of my biggest Thanksgiving dinners that I ever cooked because not only did I have to cook stuff for myself, but I had to cook stuff for other people, so it was a lot of work. Um, anyways, I hope you all enjoy the video. And thank you. Right now, I am curing my turkey legs. And I'm going to add them into my sauce pot here. I'll add that seasoning in there. And so I'm going to just cure this and add that in my sauce pot. Here I have my turkey legs in my slow cooker. I'm just going to let this slow cook for eight hours. And I'm gonna use this to make my dressing. I'm gonna use the turkey, uh, turkey leg meat for the dressing, and then use the sock and inside to add to the dressing as well. So. Okay, here I have uh, my dry ingredients for my cornbread dressing. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my wet ingredients and just add that in there. Just pour that in there. Now I'm doubling the recipe here, so that's why it looks, why the batter looks so big. Give this a quick stir. Now I'm going to add my cornbread into my prepared baking pan. Just dump it all in there. Give me a spatula to get this out of here. It's around my pan as evenly as possible. Now to make the batter move even, I'll just shake the pan. Give it a quick shake. Yeah. And that makes the batter even in the pan. And there you go. I'm going to put it in the oven. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and place this in a preheated 360 degree oven. And I'm going to bake it for, I don't know how long, I just eyeball it and whenever I feel as though it's ready, it's coming out the oven. Because I'm so so used to baking cornbread, you know, I could just eyeball it and I could tell when it's done. And while I'm at it, I went on ahead and made some uh, blueberry muffins so I have my batter prepared and ready to go. Yeah. Go ahead and bake this. Now what I'm doing here is I'm filling these cupcakes liners with my blueberry muffin mixture. My cornbread is finished. I'm going to go ahead and move it out of the oven. As you can see that's a beautiful dark brown color. Just took my cornbread out of the oven, do a quick toothpick test, and it's clean, so it's finished. It took about 35 minutes to bake, and this is like double the recipe of my original uh, cornbread recipe. And uh, I'm gonna just take this and make my dressing with it. So, and as you can see, it's a nice golden brown. Came out wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a freaking 325 oven and bake them until they're done. Okay, here I have my gizzards. I had slow cooked them overnight. And this is about eight, about, I'm gonna say about six pounds, six to eight pounds of gizzards in here. And I'm gonna use this to make my dressing. Now I'm making more than one dressing, that's why I have so, so, uh, so much in here. You know, but the, the sock is extremely flavorful, oh my goodness. Yeah, so I'm making like three pans of dressing including my own so that's why I have all this in here pour this in here alright cupcakes 
I mean, not my cupcakes, my blueberry muffins should be done. This is how they look here. Yeah. And this is how they look when we're finished. Looks good. I would take it out, but it's still hot. So, okay. We are feeling my chicken. These are chicken thighs. And I'm feeling these because I'm going to be making a stock with this. And we're going to take the meat, we're going to make the stock with it, and then we're going to take it, take the meat off, and add it into the dressing. So right now I'm just feeling it, get a nice golden brown, and I'm going to add it in the fish with it. All right, I finished here and all my chicken, now I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle. Um, got a little bit of seasoning in here, a little sprinkle of salt. Some tuna saturated grilled seasoning in there. Some chef off the dome, support your magic. Oh yay. Alright now I'm gonna go ahead and pour some water in here. Uh, four cups of water I have in here. put this in my slow cooker and I'm gonna let this uh, cook for about eight hours. I'm about to go to work so you know, I'm gonna just let this slow cook and God come back. You know, about eight, nine hours. Okay right now I'm making my pie crust for my pies. You can see that's real nice and soft. Go ahead and put this you know, I'm making multiple pies, so I have to make a big, uh, I have to make a big batch of the pie crust. Uh, Here's the finished result of my pie crust. I did a total of five pie crusts. And I'm also doing a big pan of sweet potato squares. Yeah, this was a lot of work here, but I got through it. Got through it. Yeah. <sighs> Tired. Gotta go to work. Um, I also finished the uh, sweet potato, um, the sweet potatoes, I finished balling those. Let me show you how they look. <clears throat> now here's these sweet potatoes that we balled. Yeah, so they're nice and soft and I'm just letting them sit in here, let them come to room temperature. And then tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and peel them and make my pies with them. Yeah. Good morning everybody. It's early, early morning. Uh, been up since five, and uh, actually preparing a few things this morning. Uh, had to work last night, so you know I'm pretty tired right now, and I got like four hours of sleep. You know, because when I got off work to come home, by the time I went to bed it was one o'clock, so got up at five. Um, I got a lot of stuff I have to do. You know, as you can see, I'm pretty tired, but that's okay. But let me, but anyway, it's enough bickering. Let me show you uh, stuff I gotta be doing. It's out the oven. It's the graham cracker crust for the lemon icebox pie. And here I got my sweet potato pie batter. So I'm gonna make one for the sweet potato pie squares and the other one's mine for my sweet potato pie that I'm gonna be making. So, and over here, let me show you. And I got my um, water trying to simmer here for my uh, macaroni and cheese. So, actually, somebody else's macaroni and cheese. So once I make theirs, I can make mine. <laughs> Makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah. So mm -hmm. here is my lemon ice box pie. I'm gonna put this in the oven. This is my lemon ice box pie here. All right, y'all. I picked this lovely 
lemon ice box pie out of the oven. And of course I gotta let it cool, of course. If you look, that's how it looks. Now I'm gonna let this cool off and then once I finish, I'm gonna put the uh the topping on there and there you have it, you know. I'm doing this for this is for a customer, it's not for me. I wish it was for me. I'm sorry about you about the blurriness of the camera, y'all. Alright y'all, I'm mixing the batter for the pecan pies. Go ahead and put my little pecan pie filling into these shells here. Oh wow, that came, that's perfect right there. That's perfect. Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Woo! Just toss that around a little bit. Yay! Hold up, y'all. Hold up. I gotta get my other bowl. Come on, man. All right. It's my second bowl here. Now this is for customers. So I'm just, you know. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that, man. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. Just spread this around. And once I get finished with this, I'm gonna just once the pecan I gotta let the pecans rise. So I let this sit for about four to five minutes so the pecans can rise to the top like how this one is. Yeah. So once I get finished with that, I'm gonna just put this in the oven. 350 for about an hour. There we go. Put these babies right in the oven. Come on, sweetie. Put y'all right in the oven. Oh, I'm sorry about that y'all making a mess here. Look at I gotta hold it from the bottom. And now I'm baking this in the fall pans. So yeah. Let's put that in there carefully like that. And oh, I gotta wipe that up. Just a prime example when you make a mess, just take a towel and just clean that up. But you gotta be careful though. There we go. What's up, y'all? Washing these dishes right now. One of my favorite things about cooking, you got to clean it. Cooking and baking, you got to clean it. If you're cooking and baking multiple times, you got to you gotta clean it up as you go. You know? All right here, I have my uh, elbows simmering for my baked macaroni and cheese. Now, not only do I have to make macaroni and cheese for myself, I have to also make it for a customer as well. So, yeah, I gotta make it for someone else. All right, these pies should be about done. Move them out of the oven here. Carefully remove these out here. Okay, I just took my pecan pies out of the oven. Now, if I tap it and it springs back, that lets me know that the pie is done. Let it sit in there for about an hour. It should be good to go. All right, y'all. Mixing my batter for my sweet potato pies. Actually, this is for the sweet potato pie squares, and this is double the recipe for my sweet potato pie. Yeah, it's a lot of sweet potatoes, a lot of batter. But yeah. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna add this into a large pan, and I'm gonna uh, put this in the oven. into my baking pan.
Now it's time to bake these sweet potato pie squares. So I'm going to put this in the oven. I have my batter for my sweet potato pie and this is my sweet potato pie this time it's not the one else and this is my batter for my pecan pie go ahead and put these in the baking pans and put them in the oven I'm going to put my pecan pie batter into the baking pan to add my sweet potato pie batter into my prepared pie pan. Oops. Now I'm peeling the sweet potatoes for the yams, my candied yams. I don't know, for some reason I just like, I like peeling sweet potatoes for some reason. I like potato, peeling potatoes, period. I just like it. I don't know why. Like I remember when I was young, my grandmother, um, she used to use the can, so there was no potato peel, really no potato peeling, except for when she did potato salad. But, you know, like, how, it's crazy how I made this recipe. One day I just stood in my kitchen and just experimented and just came up with something nice. I didn't know what I was doing. I just put it together. I was like, well, you mix a little sugar with this. I don't know. I just experimented. Just like I do with a lot of stuff. So... Yeah, my grandmother, she used to put, what she used to put, she used to buy a can of Bruce's Jams and she used to use, she used to add, uh, she used to add cranberry, well, cranberries, but the cranberry raisins, uh, pineapple, I believe, and she used to add, uh, either pecans or walnuts to it. It was, it was good though, but it was the, like the pecans and walnuts kind of threw it off a little bit because it was like you eat it you expect sweet potatoes to be soft but when you get that crunch like like what is that i don't know it's just something about it you know that was the only thing i didn't like about it but every, other than that it was good but for me i just make it regular i don't add no raisins or nothing to it so oh look i might do another i might do a recipe on the holiday yams with the with the with the raisins and the pecans and walnuts see great great stuff yep y'all can see I got my hair out yeah yeah all right wait if I move my pecan pie out of the oven seems about done my sweet potato I'm gonna put it in the bottom rack and let that cook a little bit because it's not All right, here are my sweet potatoes. I took them and cut them up right here into nice sized chunks. Excuse, that's my pecan pie over there. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna just let this soak for a few minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it, um, drain the water out and then put this in the pot and let it cook, so. Sweet potatoes pie is about done. Just gonna put it out the oven here. Okay, this is all what we've got done so far. Got the pans of mac and cheese ready to go. Just have the elbow macaroni now. I think that's make cheese and here's the pies here. This is the big 
pan of sweet potato squares that we did earlier. So yeah. Here I have my um, candied yams in the pot simmering. It's gonna take about 45 minutes. I'm just gonna just let this cook all the way down. And I'll show you the finished result when it's finished. The candied yams are finished. I'll show y'all how they look. This is it here. Looks good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this cool and put this in a container and it'll be ready to be served come Thanksgiving. All right. I'm just not starting on my green peas here. I got my butter, my sugar, and a little onion in here. I do it just like my grandma. Absolutely, just like our grandma used to make it. And I use this brand of green peas right here. The best ever. Ever since I tried them the first time, love them. If you haven't tried these, you need to try them. They are delicious. Love it, love it, love it. I think I was introduced to the to these peas by my grandmother. Now, yeah, I love them, man. Love them. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this simmer. Let this simmer for about five minutes and it's done. Look at that. And just like that, y'all, five minutes, the peas are done. Another good Thanksgiving dish finished. Still, there's more to do, so. Just let this cool off and put it in the container and be good to go for Thanksgiving. All right, y'all. I got my butter melted in this pan here. Now for dressings, for cornbread dressing, you got to add a lot of seasoning. So I'm going to add a bunch of, bunch of uh, onion in here. It's mostly onion, celery, and bell pepper. I'm gonna just take my little cornbread here. I'm just gonna crumble this up really good. to all three pans of course all right so now that our seasonings have simmered down some let's go ahead and add our meat I'm gonna go ahead and add some gizzards I have some chicken some chopped chicken here I'm gonna add that in there Here I have some chopped turkey. I'm going to dump that in there. Let's get this stirred. And just add the cornbread in there. I'm going to add it in there a little bit at a time and just stir it all together. Alright, now I'm going to add some stock from the turkey. This is turkey stock. And what we have for my turkey bones, our turkey um, legs. And we're going to just mix this in.
Here I have my cheese sauce for my baked macaroni and cheese. Now this is not my only pot. I have another pot over here of cheese sauce going. I'm going to be doing two pans of macaroni and cheese. Just um, one for myself and one for, for another person. So yeah. Cheddar cheese, shredded cheddar cheese, right on top. Just gonna add my macaroni and cheese into my baking pan. Make it nice already. I'm just gonna sprinkle some shredded cheddar cheese right on top. Okay, this is the final presentation for today. Right here we have our three pans of cornbread dressing. We have our two pans of macaroni and cheese right here. And we've also done the candied yams. The green peas are already under the under the all that liquid. We have the sweet potato pie squares. We have three pecan pies, a sweet potato pie, and lastly, the lemon ice box pie. Oh man, I'm so tired. I've been on my feet since 5.30 this morning. It, it is 10.27 p.m. No joke. Like, I'm just tired, man. I did, I did rest for about 30 minutes, but I have to come back here and finish, man. I'm just, you know, yeah. And I'm glad that I'm finished for the day. Do my turkey, my roast, and my ham and stuff for tomorrow. So, yeah. Until next time, well, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? I'm back. Um, got plenty of rest from yesterday. That was brutal, I must say. Now, as for today, I don't really have a whole lot to do. Um, I'm going to do a roast. I'm going to do my roast and the ham. Now, I'm also going to probably do some dinner rolls. I think I'm going to do a little a small batch of dinner rolls as well. Throw that on in there too. Um, as for my turkey, I'm going to do my turkey tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day. So, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. I hope you all enjoy. All right, here I have my beef roast, and as you can see, I put some holes in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some garlic, and I'm just gonna stuff that into the roast. I like to stuff my roast with a lot of garlic. Roast is one of my favorite. Uh, well, roast is a favorite part of my holiday meal. I absolutely loved it. Uh, when my grandmother made roast, oh man, it was so good. I don't know what she put in there, but it was it was good. Go ahead and add my roast into the pan. Just gonna sear this, get it a nice golden brown color, so that way when I add it in the slow cooker, it looks good. Now as you can see here, I added my roast into my slow cooker. I'm just gonna let this slow cook for a few hours until the roast is tender. Here is my ham glaze that I prepared for my ham. And 
over here I have my potatoes and eggs boiling because I've decided to make a potato salad at the last minute so there you go now I'm about all right here I have a ham this is a uh, spiral ham that I'm going to be using here so I'm going to get started with um, adding my pineapples on here Ready to put the cherry in there. Oops. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and just brush, lightly brush a glaze on top. Now I'm going to place this ham in a pre to 325 degree oven. I'm going to bake this for about an hour. But I just want to get it, the reason why I covered aluminum foil is because I want it to heat up. So I'm going to just let this heat up for about an hour in the oven. And then after that I take it off and do the, the second portion of baking. That ham smells good already. I'm going to move it out of the oven. And the ham is done. Brush a little bit of glaze on the top of that. Now this is ready for Thanksgiving. So okay, I'm making a small potato salad here. I like relish in my potato salad. Like plenty of it. And my potato salad is finished. Now as far as seasoning, I've already added seasoning to, to it. So, hello everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Right now I'm cleaning off my turkey. Messing off the little water here. Yeah. Now I'm going to inject my turkey with this marinade I created. Okay, I just finished from seasoning my turkey. Just sprinkled a little bit of Chef Alperdome's Poetry Magic on there. And uh, I injected it with the butter marinade that I made. Now as you can see here, I zip tied the turkey. Um, I did the zip tied the wings together because, you know, they normally say cover them with aluminum foil, but I ran out of aluminum foil, so I just zip tied them together. Hopefully, this that'll work, you know. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. Bake this until it's done. Okay, I'm about to make my gravy for my roast, so I'm gonna add some oil. Now, this oil comes from. Uh, my roast during the cooking process from when I slow cooked it. I add some flour to that as well. What I'm gonna do here with this is I'm gonna make a little roux. Just gonna make a roux with this.
cover this. And let it simmer until that gravy thickens. Okay, let's check on the oh, yeah. You can see that gravy for that roast is nice and thick. Exactly what I'm looking for. That's done. Oh yeah, that looks good. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Roast, roast, roast. Mm -hmm. Stuff with garlic. Yum. And our roast is done. Ready for Thanksgiving. Turkey is just about done. And it should be done. I'm going to remove it out of the oven. That look how beautiful that is. And the turkey is done. Look at how beautiful that looks. Nice, beautiful golden brown color. I'm going to be honest, I didn't really base my turkey except for for the last, what, 10 minutes. I just went ahead and put the season in there, put it in the oven, let it bake. Didn't open my oven. I just left it in there about 10 minutes before it was done. I just took it and basted it. And look, my wings are a little bit better this time since I took them and clenched them together with the zip ties. You know, before it used to be darker than that, but yeah, it looks good. Well, while we're at it, while the oven is still preheated, I'm gonna go ahead and add my dressing. Cornbread dressing. And my baked macaroni and cheese in the oven. And I use, I'm gonna bake this in a preheated 360 degree oven. And I'm gonna bake this for about an hour. Okay, our macaroni and cheese and cornbread dressing should be about done now. So I'm going to remove it out of the oven. This is the macaroni and cheese. This is the cornbread dressing. Look at that. Okay, now I have my dry ingredients for my uh, dinner rolls, so I'm going to add the wet ingredients in there. Let's just pour that in there. I'm just going to mix this until it, becomes, until it all comes together. Kneading the dough for the dinner rolls. All right, I let my rolls uh, rise. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven. Now I'm going to go ahead and place my dinner rolls in a preheated 365 degree oven. Just gonna bake these for about 20 minutes. All right, here is my um, my butter for my dinner rolls. Now, in this butter, I added some honey, a little salt, and a hint of sugar. And I'm just I'm going to brush my rolls with this butter mixture. And there we have it. Here is the final presentation. And there you have it. Thanksgiving 2018 by Charlie. Here we have the sweet potato pie, and over here I have pecan pie made from scratch. Now for the side items, I have a nice small bowl of potato salad. Here is the green peas. Right here we have the dinner rolls. Here is the candied yams. 
cornbread dressing. The beef roast stuffed with garlic. Baked macaroni and cheese. The wonderful, beautiful holiday ham. And finally, the turkey. Look how beautiful golden brown that looks. Mm -mm -mm. Can't wait to eat. So excited. Hey y'all, I hope you all enjoyed the video. It was a lot of hard work preparing all of those dishes. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. I have an official website for all of my recipes, including everything that you've seen prepared in this video. You can also print out the recipes from the website. You can watch my YouTube videos on the website. And if you want to donate to the channel, you can do so as well. Visit www.charliecookandrews.com. I'm also on Facebook and on Instagram under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Anyways, I, again, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I know it was long, but anyways. So anyways, take care, and I hope you all have a blessed day. Peace.